Okay, when trying to find the geometric mean, remember when they give you individual percentages for each row, uh, the formula is the first one, which is basically nth root of x1 times x2 times dot 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 xn minus 1. Okay, so in this question, we have to figure out n, x1, x2, and all the x's, basically. Since we have five percentages, we know that our n is equal to five. And then we need to find x1, x2, x3, x4, and x5. Okay, so when I'm trying to find x1, basically look at my first percentage. That's 10%. I'm going to convert that to a ratio. So I'm going to divide 10 by 100. Oops. And then I'm always going to add 1. Okay, so this is 0 0.1 plus 1. It's just 1.1. My x2 is going to be the same thing. I'm going to take 3%. I'm going to write 3 over 100 plus 1, which is 0 0.03 plus 1, 1 1.03. Similarly, my x3 is negative 20 divided by 100 plus 1 is negative 0 0.2 plus 1 which is 0 0.8 x4 is 30 divided by 100 plus 1 which is plus 1 which is 1.3 and x5 is 400 divided by 100 plus 1 which is 1 which is equal to 5. Okay, once you figure out all these values we can put them in our formula so gm equals to fifth root 1.1 times 1.03 times 0 0.8, 1.35, and then minus 1 outside the root. So this is fifth root of, I'm going to do all these multiplications. We get 5.89. That is 1.4257 minus 1, which is equal to 0 0.4257 of 42.57 percent.